folks, Nathan Adlin here with the Fastlane Car, and I am in Southern California. So Southern that about 15 miles that direction is the border of Mexico. And behind me, the 2018 Hyundai Sonata. And coming up next, five unexpected surprises because we can't talk about driving impressions until the embargo's up, but we can tell you about the five unexpected surprises. Number five on our unexpected surprises is in this area, and it has to do with the rear suspension, which has been beefed up, and these really nifty 18-inch wheels. Another one of the newish components of this vehicle is the interior, and specifically the dash area, which is well, a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, but on top of that, there are a suite of new electronics. So keep in mind that there are different things available on different models. However, this one is the two liter turbo limited. As such, it has a ton of toys, including Apple CarPlay, and it is Android adaptable. And on top of all that, it has a new audio system, which is, well, fairly spectacular. The bottom line is they really wanted to keep the interior pretty close to what they've had. So rather than making it a revolution, it is an evolution. It is one step above where it was. Number three, behold, 245 horsepower, two liter, direct injected, turbocharged engine. It's a GDI, and it puts out 260 pound-feet of torque. The big news is this is a carryover engine, but it's hooked up to an eight-speed automatic transmission, which according to Hyundai is more efficient. One mile per gallon improvement city, one mile per gallon improvement highway, but it's still a combined 26 MPG. You can also get a 2.4 liter that's available with a six, speed automatic transmission. That 2.4 is non-turbo, and that comes in the base models. In the future, this is the big news, there is a 1.6 liter turbo coming out. But that's all I got. They didn't tell us anything about it. They just said it's coming out. So we'll have to wait and see on that. Number two on this list, I'm a geek for small features. Check this out, follow me down. There is a trunk button somewhere in this area. Watch this. There's a little pressure plate right there that they hidden inside the H, and it opens up to a fairly large trunk, 16.3 cubic feet. Not bad. Once again, I got I just gotta do it again. See, look, ta-da! <laughs> it's cool. Number one, and this is the main reason Hyundai was kind enough to fly us out here. First of all, this vehicle was built in Alabama, and when they built it, they decided to go for new sheet metal almost throughout. So, with the front end, new hood, new bumper, all this sheet metal new, all this plastic new, the grill new, in the back, new trunk, new rear bumper, new rear taillights. They've basically made a new looking vehicle from the outside that only has a little bit of sheet metal from before. Thank you so much for joining me for the Fastlane Car. This is Nathan Adlin. Don't forget to go to tflcar.com for news, views, and real world reviews. I'll see you next time.